You were standing outside the Nags Head public house when this tragic accident occurred. Yes. You saw the incident clearly. Yes. Would you tell the court what happened? <clears throat> My uncle fell down a hole. <laughs> yes. Would you tell the court how he fell down the hole? Uh, well, it was, um... Uh, <laughs> no, no, Mr Trotter. Did he trip? Did he stumble? Oh, no. Well, um, he sort of, like, walked and then fell down the arm. <laughs> Didn't he see the warning notice? There was no warning notice. Wasn't he stopped by the guardrail? There was no guardrail either. I see. No warning notice? No guardrail. Sounds very dangerous to me. Yes. I can remember thinking to myself, at the time, that's rather dangerous someone could fall down there. <laughs> and how right you were. So, you ran straight down to the cellar? Yes. And were you the first person to find your uncle? Yes. What did he look like? Horrible. <laughs> Would you please tell the court, are you related to the plaintiff? No, no, I just drink in his pub. <laughs> that little one there is my uncle. Quiet. Yeah, no, I saw it all, Your Worship. Utter negligence, a complete disregard for public safety. Yes, yes, quite. <clears throat> uh, Mr Fraser, I don't think we need concern ourselves any further with the accident itself. I believe liability has been proved quite, quite conclusively. Much obliged, Your Honour. Let us move on now to the after-effects of the accident. Has your uncle changed in any way since this happened? Oh, do I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a completely different man now. I mean, he used to be so active, you know, he was full of swimming, sponsored walks, marathons, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what, I used to call him the Jimmy Savile of Peckham. <laughs> well, he was always out and about. You'd really find him in. And now? Well, and now he's... He is like the Olympic flame. He never goes out, Your Worship. <laughs> he's locked in his room. He's, he's frightened he might fall down another hole. And how has the gradual loss of feeling in his legs affected him? Well, how would it affect you, Captain? I mean, one minute, you know, he's, he's there doing his acrobatics to his Dizzy Lizzy LP. <laughs> and then the next minute, he has to ask us whether or not he's got his shoes on. <laughs> but, I mean, the worst is, the worstest thing of all, Your Honour, is these sudden bouts of amnesia. You know, they have led to him having some very nasty falls. I fail to see the connection. How can amnesia cause one to fall? He keeps forgetting he can't walk. <laughs> <laughs> I have no further questions, my lad. Mr Gerard. No questions, Your Honour. You may stand down, Mr Trotter. Stand down? I've only just started. I've got loads more I could tell you. That will be all, Mr Trotter. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Mike. Oh, how are we doing, Solly? We don't want to try. This could be a ten grander coming up here. <laughs> Fraser, do you want 